This is Helianthus annuus. <laughs> Common sunflower, that's right, okay? I want everybody to make sure you feel this thing before you leave, okay? It's got a very, yeah, all this is, but I'm afraid those down there are too juvenile to really have the, these are more, all right? Kind of got a sandpaper feel to it, very hispid. <laughs> well, then we won't teach it then. How about that? It's fantastic. No. <laughs> all right, uh, sunflower will grow up, most sunflowers, there are some other uh, cultivars and things, but most sunflowers grow up to be six foot, eight foot tall, maybe 10 foot in certain areas, okay? Uh, obviously, large leaves when they're that size, okay? You see these opposite leaves that occur, and they're uh, chordate, right? And then the chordate, they've got very uh, coarse toothing on the margins, and the bases are sort of almost auriculate, kind of have that, a lot of them have, sort of have that little uh, earlobe pattern back at the base, okay? Who's got the, there it is, all right, so you see the sunflowers. Everybody pretty well knows what a sunflower looks like. It's got the nice uh, ray flowers, all right? And then the disc flowers in here are, are always sort of, uh, uh, they can be yellowish to brown, and sort of a tan color, okay? Typically, on a sunflower, the disc flowers are uh, either this yellow or sort of this brownish color, all right? And then obviously on the inside, it makes seeds, and that's where our sunflower seeds that we eat come from. Yeah. Okay? In fact, even after you boil them, I think that some of them will still germinate like I uh, I spit one out in my grandmother's flower bed one, and uh, apparently I didn't get the seed out of it. it popped up. I was surprised, obviously. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> kind of shocker. Okay, you'll notice that a lot of these new cultivars sort of have uh, a reddish purplish cast to the petiole as they are uh, uh, attached to the leaf, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way, all right? Yeah, some of these are <coughs> sunflowers too, but you feel the fact that these sunflowers are not yet uh, hispid, and so that's not a real good Characteristic, but these are much more sandpapery, and uh, and then obviously you got these. Some sunflowers will actually be much shorter than that and sort of grow out there uh, in more of a four or five foot bushy type pattern. But the, these types have uh, one or two flowers up at the terminal tip, and then they they're normally so big and so heavy that they'll sort of uh, bend the, the plant over. All right, this plant right here is Mexican sunflower, Tithonia. Okay. And it is much softer, but it's still got a very heavy uh, pubescence on the foliage. But much softer than, than the sunflower is. Uh, but it's still a, a similar uh, shapely. All right, sometimes you can see when they're, when they're juvenile, they've got a much more even deltoid shaped leaf than the sunflower does. But then you notice that as they become more mature, they will begin to develop this tri-lobed uh, tri leaf okay and as they do that it's much easier to tell the difference between this plant and that plant and then obviously once you get flowers we don't see sunflowers in these colors you typically see tithonia in sort of an orange to uh orangey uh, i don't know sort of orange is red with a uh disc flowers and then the, the uh, ray or ray flowers and disc flowers are much more yellow brightly colored okay all right, so I want everybody to make sure you feel that too because it's much softer, although the pubescence is still there and, and very pronounced. And then again, notice that the, the foliage, as it becomes more um, mature, it does become more, it does become more uh, tri, tri lobe and more. Okay. Now, Tithonia will get up to be maybe four, uh, four or five foot tall. As I said, uh, common sunflower gets up to be six, eight. 10 foot tall. So realize that this one's always going to be a little bit shorter, but it's always going to be much. Uh, Tithonia is typically just straight up and down, much like the sunflower is. Uh, not so much a shrubby grower, but more a, an upright grower. And the Tithonia uh, has its terminal uh, blooms as well. Do you know, uh, like in a,